Alright, this is my algae bioreactor with solar panels. Right now I have three tubes. Each tube holds about 2.5 gallons of water in it. Um, it's not really much. In a future project, probably six months from now, you will see a lot more tubes on there. I'm hoping at least 14 on there. Right now I have three. That's all I had the funding for. Those are the uh, 45 watt solar panels. Each tube is six feet long. And I'm growing algae in there. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. So you can see my algae inside the tubes. I'm liking a little bit of water in there, but that's fine. I'm going to be doing harvest right now anyways. Uh, these light bulbs were just for experimentation. They weren't actually to help the algae grow. I wanted to see the power draw at night. And I'll talk about that when I talk about the battery system. Alright, so here you go. Here you see some algae on the tubes in an area where the bubbles are not really hitting the algae. So they've all collected there. The higher up you go, you still see a little bit of algae, but it's not as much as below the bubble line. So pumping atmospheric air through it. So carbon dioxide, oxygen, whatever's in the air. Well, doesn't look like much. Well, let's go ahead and look at the back side. And you see where all the algae is. Let's go ahead and take a closer look there. And you can see the bubblers. I'm sorry, those are called air stones. And the reason why I chose to put those in there is so that way I can make more bubbles in the system. The thicker the bubbles, then... Um, it doesn't absorb, the carbon dioxide doesn't absorb through the water as well. Alright. This is the air pump. I have it on top of a ladder. That will be encased inside a box under this solar ray system. So, I'll build a box to these four lakes here. To hold the batteries, the air pump, and everything else. Here's a charging unit. This is where the solar panels are connected to and it provides a 12 volt output. My solar panels produce 18 volts of electricity at 45 watts. All that goes to here. Sorry, the solar panels produce 18 volts each with 45 watts of power combined together. And... There's your voltage output right now, it's 11.8 volts. And part of the reason is, is the draw of the 75 watt power supply that powers the air pump. Um, oh, and here's the connector for those lights that you saw in front of the tubes. Uh, each one of those light bulbs are 5 watts, 12 volts. So at night, while there's no solar panels, so to do my experimentation, not that I don't have enough battery, but they would drain pretty quickly. I put a 1.5 amp charger to charge the batteries or help the batteries maintain charge while running that experiment. Inside the system, I do have two full total, but two batteries. One is a uh, lead acid and the other one is a sealed battery. There you go. They're both connected in parallel 
to uh, so that way I have more power available. When I bought it at Walmart, when I bought it at AutoZone. That's about 50 bucks. This is 128. So, big difference um, as far as charging capacity and all that. But, due to lack of funding, I had to go with the Walmart battery. So, let's go ahead and close this back up. Now, as far as the tubes. They do have a connector at the bottom. These two tubes are connected together. And I go ahead and drain the algae out of here. As you can see, the tube collector. And there's also some algae inside that tube as well. As you can see. And then that tube has its own by itself. And the more tubes that I have, then the more of them I'll connect together. All right. So let's go ahead and harvest the algae and show you what that is.